Welcome Brainers! In this video, I'll demonstrate how to merge two separate partitions in Windows without losing any of your data. The default disk management utility in Windows doesn't offer a direct option for merging partitions, so we'll need a reliable and free disk management application. Mini Tool Partition Wizard is an excellent choice for this task. However, it's important to follow my steps closely to avoid mistakenly installing the trial version instead of the free version, so please thoroughly watch the video at least once before initiating the merge process on your system. Let's dive right into it. Please open this link provided in the video description. Select Download Partition Wizard. Locate the free edition precisely and choose Download just below it. Once downloaded, double-click the executable file to start the installation process. This is the most crucial screen where you should select the free edition option. Unfortunately, the trial version is pre-selected by default, which many users overlook. Consequently, when they begin using the product, they may encounter a prompt to purchase it. To avoid this, make sure to switch to the free edition before clicking Next. On the subsequent screen, you may encounter some promotional offers. These are not necessary for the disk management tasks we want to perform, so please deselect them accordingly and then click Next to proceed. You can leave the folder path as default and click on Next. This will now download the required files and install the free version of Minitool Partition Wizard. Once installed, launch the application. On this screen, you'll see a list of the drives on your computer, with a visual map displayed at the bottom. First and foremost, please do not disturb the system, reserved, and recovery partitions. These partitions are created by Windows, and are essential for the smooth functioning of the Windows operating system. Select a partition, then right-click, and choose Merge. Please pay little attention to this screen, which says what to expand. Some of you may wish to merge your C drive with another drive, perhaps the D drive. On the other hand, others may want to merge two data disks, such as D and E. The method I'm demonstrating works perfectly for both of these cases. The first drive you choose will be expanded, using the space from the second drive you select. All contents of the second drive will be moved to the expanded drive as a folder. With that being said, if the C drive is involved in your merging process, you must choose it first. For others, you can select the drive you want to expand accordingly and click Next to proceed. Now, we're at the second drive selection screen. Please choose the drive that you want to merge. As mentioned earlier, all contents of this drive will be placed as a folder within the resulting merged drive. You can indeed customize the name of this folder as you wish. Once you're ready, click on Finish. Now, this is how your final partition structure will look, but the changes are not yet applied to your system. Once you're satisfied, click on Apply. Before proceeding, ensure all open applications and unsaved documents are closed. If there are none, you can proceed by clicking Yes. This screen may only be relevant to users who selected the C drive for merging. Typically, if you're merging two data disks, Minitool Partition Wizard can perform the operation without needing to restart the system. However, if the C drive is involved, you must select Restart Now. Please wait for the system to boot up. Do not try to interrupt or force restart your system at this stage, your patience is greatly appreciated here. Once all processing is complete, you should get your regular login prompt. Wow! My system is back after the successful merge process, and it's running smoothly. All my files from the C drive are intact, and I can also see the merge drive represented as a folder, just as I expected. I hope this is helpful. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech videos. Thanks for watching.